Today, we are comparing three Lutheran denominations in the United States. They are the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, or ELCA, Lutheran Congregations in Mission for Christ, or LCMC, and the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, or LCMS. As far as the size of these denominations, the ELCA is the largest in America, followed by the LCMS. The number three denomination is the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, or WELS, and the LCMC is number four. I'm covering the first, second, and fourth largest denominations today, and not the WELS for the following reasons. The ELCA is the clear representative for mainline Lutheranism, not affirming inerrancy and often willing to buck the confessions. The LCMS is the largest confessional Lutheran body in the USA, and the LCMC is a moderate denomination with positions between those two. The WELS is slightly more conservative than the LCMS, so we'll discuss its differences at a later time. The ELCA was formed from three other Lutheran denominations merging together in 1988. The LCMC started in 2001 from churches leaving the ELCA, though today many LCMC-affiliated churches were never ELCA churches, and the LCMS originates in 1847, at the time a combination of mostly German Lutheran immigrant congregations. Before we get deep into the comparison of the ELCA, LCMC, and LCMS, let me make you aware that there are separate, more lengthy videos on this channel that clearly explain the position of each denomination on all of the issues that I am discussing here. If you want sources and a deeper discussion of the individual points that I'll be quickly comparing in this video, you'll find that information in those videos. On doctrines such as the Trinity, Deity of Christ, Virgin Birth, and Literal Resurrection of Christ, the LCMC and LCMS affirm them completely and congregations or ministers that did not affirm them would run the risk of expulsion. In the ELCA, though in most cases these doctrines are also affirmed, there are cases in all of these areas where some ELCA ministers deny these, and they are allowed to remain as ELCA ministers. As far as sacraments go, all three denominations are sacramental, not believing in only ordinances. The ELCA holds to baptism and communion, and most LCMC and LCMS churches would also only practice those two. However, absolution is also an acceptable Lutheran sacrament, so some churches practice it. Although none of the three churches view immersion or pouring to be invalid modes of baptism, sprinkling is the common mode in each of them. All three churches baptize infants primarily, but unbaptized adult converts are also baptized. On confirmation, it is widely practiced in the ELCA, LCMC, and LCMS, with the ELCA particularly commonly using the terminology of affirmation of baptism. On the Lord's Supper, the elements are wine and bread. LCMS literature speaks negatively of using unfermented grape juice, while there are congregations that do so in the ELCA and LCMC, although wine is still most common. On whether the bread should be leavened or unleavened, the ELCA allows either, the LCMS position is to use unleavened, and the LCMC doesn't have a required position for churches. As for who can participate in communion, in the ELCA it is open communion, so even non-Lutherans who are non-Christians can participate in communion in many churches. In the LCMC, each church sets their own standard. Open communion is common here, though many would want the communicant to be a professed Christian and others would require them to be Lutheran. The LCMS restricts participation to members in other LCMS churches and to members in church bodies the LCMS is in altar fellowship with, such as the AALC. All three denominations believe in a 66-book biblical canon. The Apocrypha is not viewed as scripture, but the ELCA does have some apocryphal readings in its newest lectionary. On inerrancy, the ELCA does not hold to inerrancy, the LCMS does, and the LCMC mostly does too, though the actual word inerrant is not used, perhaps to avoid some of the assumptions that come along with using the term. On creation and evolution, most in the ELCA affirm human evolution as opposed to special creation. The LCMS officially holds to a literal six-day creation and rejects human evolution, and the LCMC doesn't have any requirements, so likely a lot of the middle views between these two sides would be present. All three denominations affirm original sin, though in the ELCA the meaning of that in many congregations may be interpreted in different ways. None of the three denominations teach salvation as being a one-time crisis or born-again experience, though there are some in the LCMC who teach that. The LCMS teaches against that viewpoint. In the LCMS and most churches in the other two denominations, baptism is viewed as a part of salvation, as a sacrament bringing salvation grace, but not absolutely required for salvation. None of the denominations are Calvinistic, holding to unconditional election or limited atonement. None teach the holiness doctrine of entire sanctification. Churches in the ELCA are not forbidden from being charismatic, but in practice, this has mostly died out in the denomination since the charismatic renewal of the 1970s. The LCMC has retained and gained some of these charismatic Lutheran churches, which are welcome, though most churches in the LCMC are not charismatic. The LCMS is mostly opposed to charismatism. In all three denominations, you'll find them to nearly all be amillennial. It's the 
stated position of the LCMS, and the other two don't require that view, but it still prevails. On homosexuality and gay marriage, the ELCA supports the LGBT movement and allows homosexuals to serve openly in the church and to be married in the church, though not every congregation is in favor. The LCMC and LCMS both proclaim homosexuality as sinful and oppose ordaining homosexual clergy or performing gay marriages. On divorce and remarriage, the ELCA, as a denomination, is permissive of both. The LCMS believes in certain acceptable cases for divorce and views remarriage as wrong after cases of unacceptable divorce. Churches in the LCMC will vary as there is no set position. The ELCA is split on abortion, with many being supportive but others opposed. The LCMS is opposed to abortion as a denomination, and the churches within the LCMC are also opposed to it, though the denomination has no official stance. In all three denominations, some congregations are more contemporary, others more traditional, and others with blended services or both types of service. None of the three denominations are opposed to the responsible consumption of alcohol. None of the denominations as a whole teach a required tithe. The LCMS is opposed to requiring a tithe, while some LCMC churches teach tithing. The ELCA has a modified Episcopal polity that does have congregational influence. Since their full communion agreement with the Episcopal Church, ELCA bishops are part of Anglican apostolic succession. The LCMC is strictly congregational, with very little on a denominational level at all, and the LCMS is also congregational, though the denomination makes statements and operates colleges and seminaries. The ELCA has bishops, pastors, and ordained deacons. The LCMC and LCMS have no bishops in the sense of a higher office, but simply pastors. Deacons Deacons are a lay office in the LCMS, often called elders. LCMC churches may ordain deacons or treat it as a lay office. In the ELCA, women may serve in any role, which is also the case in the LCMC, though individual churches may choose to restrict that. In the LCMS, only men may serve in pastoral office. None of the denominations require clergy to be celibate. Only the ELCA is part of the Lutheran World Federation, National Council of Churches, and World Council of Churches. The LCMC is not part of any other organizations, and the LCMS is part of the International Lutheran Council. These are of course not the only differences, but to learn more, you'll want to watch the videos on each denomination here on Ready to Harvest. The LCMS is compared to the Anglican Church in North America and the Presbyterian Church in America in another video here on the Ready to Harvest channel. Plus, we have many other videos on Lutheran denominations and history, along with other Christian denominations. Subscribe to Ready to Harvest and click the bell to be notified of our latest videos.